of late because I already hit 2,000 subscribers like a while ago. <laughs> but um, this is the first video after I hit 2K. So thank you guys so much for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. Yes, I put it on a pumpkin because it's very related to fall. So it's Lauren, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video because I told you guys on Instagram um, to give me some questions that I can answer for you guys because I know you guys don't know a lot about me and I feel like I should do more of these videos so you guys can get to know more about me. Let's just get started with this video and I hope you guys like this and if you want more Q&A videos in the future just give this video a thumbs up. I'm not going to say the person's name or their account name because I might say it wrong so I'm just going to put the picture of your account name and the question on the screen which will look really cool because I'm like giving you a shout out so you guys should go follow these people that commented. <laughs> First question is, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is probably Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. That's one of my favorites. I really like that one. It's on Netflix. Go check it out. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's Jim Carrey's in it, and it's like a whole different perspective of Jim Carrey. Like, it's quiet and, like, alone, like, very... <laughs> like very like like an outcast kind of person of Jim Carrey like I don't know how to explain it but like he's not like the funny well like, he's a little funny in the movie but like he's not like crazy Jim Carrey it's like more just like quiet and like I don't know I really like uh, how he acts in this movie it's a really good different way of viewing him because I normally see him like acting all crazy and funny <laughs> if you guys know what I'm saying so yeah that's one reason I like this movie and it just has a really like unique story um that kind of just like pulled me into it and like made it like really interesting um it's a little weird at first but like when you get to the end you'll realize how good of the movie it is like next question is favorite artist one of my favorite artist is definitely Tom Rosenthal um I have others, but like Tom Rosenthal, it, he's just so unique in like his singing, like what he says in his songs. Like one of his songs is called Watermelon, or like the other ones, there's another one called like Hand in the Chandelier or something. Like it's so weird, but so cool at the same time. Next question is, what inspired you to become a dancer and how long have you danced? Oh, I like this question. Thank you, um, Alyssa. I was about to say Lissa, but like that's her username. Okay, um, inspiring me to become a dancer. I've always, like, had this part of me that has loved dance. I don't know why, but, like, I've just always enjoyed, like, and, like, watching, like, the art of dance. Like, how the movement and stuff is. Like, I have so many, like, creative thoughts in my mind. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But, like, I feel like that, with those creative thoughts in my mind, is a way for me to express myself through dancing. So when I dance, I express myself. Like, I don't know. You know, I've never really thought about this. And that's one reason I like dance is because I can just express how I feel and like let everything out and like dance kind of just shows who I am. So like, I um, I've been dancing for a year and now I'm on my second year. So next question is, um, who is your style icon? Favorite Instagram account? Inst okay, there's like different questions. I'm just gonna answer the first one first. Um, who is your style icon? <laughs> one of the people that I get a lot of inspiration from is Fashion Gambini here on YouTube. Um, and she has an Instagram and everything and she's like, oh my gosh, amazing. Her videos are so unique and creative and her style is just out of this universe. Like, so good. I like how she can just like wear anything and she just rocks it and goes out in the world and just shows people that you don't have to try to be like everybody else. You can be your own person. Like that's why I like her. Um, um, the next question she has is favorite Instagram or account. Um, yeah, favorite Instagram account. Um, fashion Bambini, gotta say. Last question she asked and like this is all one person that asked these three questions that I'm answering. Favorite blog or blogger? I don't really like, like I don't know many bloggers besides one which is Prepping Your Step. If you guys don't know who she is, she's 
I don't know, and she posts really good stuff on her blog, and she posts like, um, like, you know what bloggers post, they like post, um, like DIYs and stuff and everything, she, she's really good at keeping her blog up, and like, keeping it up to date, so I really like hers, that's basically the only person I know that I actually look at sometimes. <laughs> Next question is, favorite accessory or piece of clothing? My favorite accessory. Probably a watch that I wear every day. It's over there. I'll go get it. This is my favorite watch. I wear it like every day. I'm not wearing it right now because this, this is just a video. Um, it's from Target. I like have my phone in my hand. I'm sorry. It looks like this. Um, it has uh, military time. Like the way military time goes on there as well. Which is great. It's like in the middle. Like the little numbers in the middle is military time. Um, and then it just is black and silver. I don't know, their watches at Target are $10 and they're great. Like I really like the size of this one because it's not too big or too small. So it's, it's perfect and I wear it like all the time. And then piece of clothing, um, probably turtlenecks. I wear turtlenecks a lot in the winter. <laughs> I can't wait till it gets really cold. I'm gonna be so happy. Next question is, what is your favorite shape of sunglasses? This is a really unique question. I was looking through the questions. I was like, ooh, this is pretty cool. Um, definitely circle sunglasses. Definitely I think circle looks good on everybody, so circle. And look at these sunglasses. I really want these. They're like $16 though from Urban Outfitters. They're so beautiful. And they're, they're circles. And they're like cat eye circle. Like it's kind of, it's so cool. Next question is, Three favorite songs at the moment. Um, definitely the first one is Junk of the Heart by The Kooks. Junk of the Heart, Junk of My Mind. Next song is probably um, Send My Love to your new lover by Adele. <laughs> That's a really long name. this song it's called our song by Radi radiator hospital what's your favorite book My favorite books that I've ever read like I've read other books but like one of the like because I don't read that much but like so like I don't have many favorites and this book's really old in my opinion it's the fault in our stars by john green and i don't know that book it's really good <laughs> next question is what inspires your fashion sense probably my personality if that makes sense like how crazy and like like i guess how crazy i am like i'm a very like upbeat like happy person and I guess it kind of like shows through my style which I wanted to happen and I eventually got out of my nutshell and like finally came out to the world showing like who I tr like who I truly am so I feel like with my fashion sense like through myself is like where like I got that like if that makes any sense that was all the questions and make sure if you want to be featured in my next Q&A Go follow me on Instagram because I always post a picture of when I'm doing a QA. and a You can comment um, down below on that picture. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I'm going to go now. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Peace out, guys. Bye.